Are you ready? All right, so here we go, round one. I can barely hear myself think in this arena right now. Two of the most dominant, well-rounded fighters in this division. I mean, these guys are the best of all of this martial arts. They can do everything when they're locked inside of the octagon. I'm so excited to watch the highest level of MMA on display tonight. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? All right, here we go. First round is underway. No denying the big reach advantage for him tonight. We'll see if he can get that jab going up. Look for him to circle on the outside. Use that long jab to keep his distance and only engage on his terms. Well, he told us... There you go. There you go. So next with a right. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hit us. He's going to start trying to move to a submission here. It looks like he's trying to attack the arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Posturing up now, and he's out. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as he gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling should really be entertaining. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter. It's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Looking to set up a knee of his own. Oh, nice. Oh, flush knee to the body. He's got the length advantage in this fight and certainly made it count in that exchange. He lands flush with that right hand. Oh, nice punch there. Nice takedown land. Watching this guy move on the ground, another nice... Now he's chasing the triangle. And this could be trouble here. Looks like it's pretty tight. He's trying to work his head out of harm's way. It, it might be over. Watch triangle, watch triangle. There he is. He's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he goes parallel right next to his opponent. When it's time to finish, he has to go flat. Just... Oh, he might have got him with a choke. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half guard. Absolutely more offensive options, because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestler stand-up. Get to your knees, post your hands, don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hooks. But get to your hands, stand up, fight the hands, break away and escape. But it's so much more free-flowing than the half guard in the side control, because all you need to do is just get the opponent's body up because his legs are just free to move. His legs are not controlling anything. His legs are just free, so you have more freedom to use yours. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Punch over the top. Oh, collar tie. Now the transition to the judo throw right into side control where he will have no shortage of options. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Oh, nice. Nice. 20 seconds to go in round one. Big ball for punch land. Now we get back to range. Liver kick. Wow, beautiful takedown by him there as he lands another one. He's keeping the staff guys busy tonight. Huh? I mean, 
over and over, take down the tip, have to take down the tip, and the cardio. The cardio to wrestle that much is so impressive because his opponent is getting back to his feet, but he's got this ability to continue to chase takedowns. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. Right there. Exactly just like that. Just like that last round. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep with that footwork. That footwork is All right, next round is underway. And somewhat surprisingly, he got out of that previous round without absorbing anything in terms of significant damage, despite the fact that his opponent was pretty offensive. His opponent was very active, but it seems as though he can see almost everything coming in his direction. He's so well-versed. He's so... in a single collar tie. Straight punch lands. Yet another combination is good. <laughs> Looked like he might have landed fantastic takedown land. All right, so he lands another takedown here, and he just continues to get his opponent to the ground. His opponent's done a pretty good job getting back to his feet, but can't stop the shot. It'll finally stop. Now he has a headlock trying to pin his opponent's back down flat onto the mat. Look for him to transition to an arm triangle to try to chase the finish. Watch triangle, watch triangle. That was okay. Now he's gonna escape. Side control now. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jiu-jitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys who start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Recovery, man, right back to his feet. for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched club. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. All right, we go back inside the octagon to the veteran voice once more. He is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, one second of the second round. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean.